Boot fans, welcome on in right here today. We're going to be taking a look at the latest colorway in the 11 Pro Series from Adidas. These boots were just released in the past two weeks. We're going to look at them up close. Um, check out this texture design. Find out what it's all about. Compare them against some previous models. Before we do it all, definitely appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any thoughts on these boots, leave it in the comment section down below. First thing to note is it features this two-tone design. One side has this orange, the other side is white, and it's got this black stripe that runs through right up along the tongue and onto the heel. There's no performance characteristic to this, it just separates both um, colors on the boot, and there is a layer of stitching in there as well. If you flip the boot to the side, you'll notice that it actually looks like a one-tone design, which is pretty unique. So you flip around the other side, it just looks like a, an orange boot. My preference is on this side, I really like this design. I think with the blazing orange laces, it gives it a sharp look. Maybe a, a boot we'll see released from Adidas in the near future. In terms of the upper, they have gone back to a very thin K leather. In previous models, they were using a Taurus leather. So it's nice to see Adidas go back to a traditional K leather. This texture underneath is all to do with this support system that's in place. Because that material is so thin that runs across the forefoot, Adidas needed to add something to give it extra support and make sure that durability wasn't an issue. So you can see how it's in place right here. It's got this lattice style design. So it's kind of got this crisscross. And if I take the other boot, I'll open it up and show you where it is in play. So you can see towards the front of the boot, it's got this lattice style design and it runs through the other side. Now there is a layer of material in between, so it's very soft in here. Don't think that you're going to be putting your foot against a textured material. It also runs through the heel, so there's extra support in there too. You can't necessarily see it because it's got this um, in, inner, inner, inner layer that adds some protection around your heel with that lining in play. Because this is a comfort boot, and one of the things that Adidas have focused on with this release is sticking to comfort. <coughs> If you look at the insole real quick, real nice insole, I like it has this kind of like suede feel to it. And it's got this memory foam style padding that's going to be very useful in keeping your, your heel in check. And if you're bouncing around the place, it's going to keep it nice and padded, which is a nice addition. I definitely like that. You got your 11 Pro hit just on the heel right there. And if I flip them over, you get the comfort frame. And this is the same comfort frame we've seen on previous models. If I bring in the Battle Pack version, it's kind of tough to see the, the, the stud configuration on the, on the white right there. But it's the same as it was on the Battle Pack version. And the one thing that Adidas have gone with here is this tri-stud configuration. And again, it's the same configuration we've seen on previous models. And we also seen it on the Nitro Charge. We've got the Nitro Charge right here. It's slightly different in how it's configured but that comfort frame again it's it's there for um, distributing pressure so you're not feeling any pressure as you're moving about the pitch again all about comfort everything to, about this boot is to do with comfort heritage not so much classic because of the actual colorway but uh, yeah that's another story in terms of touch on the ball you can see that this boot is very supple. The support system is going to take away from natural touch because it is a little bit thicker and it makes that the, the material in between a little bit more defined. Plenty of texture there to give you some added grip when you're playing in wet conditions, which is nice. And it's going to be a pretty useful ball for, for striking the ball across the pitch. I don't see them as a shooting boot necessarily, but for somebody who likes to spray the ball around and play long passes, they're going to be very useful. Again, I just want to bring in the battle pack just to show you the forefoots, how Adidas has changed things up. So instead of having all this stitching, they've gone with the um, K letter, very thin K letter, and that support system. And that support system, again, is going to stop any overstretch from the letter material. You know, a thin letter is going to stretch over time. And this is kind of going to remove that with that support system in place. So that's important to note about the boot. Gives it a much cleaner appearance as well, which is nice. Another boot I want to bring in real quick is the pr the prior version or the last version of the Adi Pure 11 Pro. So as you can see, it's got Adi Pure on the tongue with the 11 Pro hit on the side. And uh, just to show you the differences between both boots and where Adidas has gone with this range, it's vastly different. It's still all about comfort, 
but the actual design and if you flip them over to see the stud configurations you had that off um, slightly off conical shaped studs you had the opportunity to add the mic coach system which you don't have with the current version but you can see that they've gone for a more modern twist on the range <clears throat> on the silo something else to note before we finish up here and again if you have any comments on these boots or you want to leave your thoughts on the colorway design please hit up the comment section down below I'll be checking them all out Adidas include a boot bag it's a long time since we've seen a free free boot bag in, included with an Adidas release so you get this pretty standard black textile boot bag with the 11 Pro um, which is a nice addition. It's always nice to get a boot bag with your boots, especially in, in winter conditions where you're going to be playing them muddy. You don't want to throw them in your bag. You have something to protect them. So there you have it, guys. This has been the latest iteration of the Adidas 11 Pro. Definitely appreciate your thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Until next time, thanks for watching.